talking of best films, and I certainly don't want to say which is your best, but I would suggest that one of them is Lolita. Uh, would, is there anything you'd like to say before we show the clip? Uh, again, I think most people know the book and the film. Uh, no, except that it was a very sensational book because it dealt with something which was had not been dealt with on film at, the, at that time, the, the, the case of a man, of a middle-aged man, supposedly in his 40s or 50s, whatever, uh, who had this uh, um, uh, perversion uh, that he liked girls, little girls, between the ages of 9 and 13. And uh, so I, I suppose that's why people thought that it was rather sensational and rather uh, embarrassing part, perhaps, to take on. I didn't feel any such embarrassment. All I knew about the project was that I'd read this marvelous novel. I thought it was a, a really wonderful novel, and it was the first novel by Nabokov that I'd ever read. So I was doubly pleased because this was uh, opened the doorway to the treasure house of uh, Nabokov's novels, which I enjoyed very much from then on. And um, when, that, when I heard that Kubrick and his partner Jim Harris were going to make it, I didn't expect them to pick on me for their first choice, and indeed they didn't. But um, <laughs> uh, the time came when they did, and I had absolutely no hesitation in accepting it whatsoever, because I thought that it was a fascinating project. I believe that Noel Coward was one... Was the I believe so, yes. So they told me. Well, happily, the part fell to Mr. Mason, and we're going to see a clip from that uh, scene, of course, with Sue Lyon. Mm -hmm. um, it's an encounter between the two of you when you're extremely displeased with her. It's after she takes part in a, a school play. Uh, we'll talk about it later. It's possibly a sad comment on the Times that, of course, it looks far less daring than it must have done in 1962. Well, it wasn't done in a daring way. No, no. It was a daring book, but it wasn't a daring film because Kubrick, what Kubrick saw in it was a, a, a love story. Mm. And uh, it's true that even then, many other directors would have chosen to do it as an essay in sexploitation. Mm -hmm. But uh, he saw it as a love story, and he, he uh, contended, quite rightly, that all the most um, powerful classic love stories of literature had dealt with star-crossed lovers, or that is to say lovers who were prevented from getting together by the dictates of the morals or the politics of the time. Abelard and Eloise, or well, that was a little something. But uh, Romeo and Juliet, and it was always the same sort of pattern. And so we came to this somewhat new pattern or one that had not been dealt with in either literature or the theatre.